There was a pensive mood at Leonard Wekesa Shiundu's home in Kapkoi village, Kimimini constituency, as the family narrated his unfortunate arrest in neighboring South Sudan on allegations of theft. Leonard apparently traveled South Sudan seven years ago after the poll post violence in 2008 in search of greener pastures. <laughs> He secured a job as a supervisor in a private business owned by a Sudanese. However, his good fortunes were short-lived. It is alleged his troubles began when he asked to be granted annual leave to travel back and visit his family, only to be denied the permission. It is said he then opted to leave his place of work to return home only to be arrested and accused of allegedly stealing from his employer. Driver to Pigia Sim, Taretisa, you request a tisa. Akisema Kwanza Kijana, Meshikwa, Name Rudisha Yuma, Kwayo, Ujua Kwamba, Kijana Wenu, Hakuji. He was charged with theft and sentenced to three years in jail by a Sudanese court for three years in 2011. He has since completed his sentence, but according to his family, his employer is demanding 1.6 million Kenyan shillings before he can return home. Mejaribu Juchini, Nikaenda Baka Embassy, ya Kenya Kule Sudan. Wakaita yule Tajiri Akaja, John Den, Wanail Kulobo. Tukaongea na ye, Tukia Embassy, akasema kwamba, anataka serikali ya Kenya, imutafutie contract, manake ni mutu wa ujensi. Sasa wakimpa hiyo contract, atajilipa asara yenye kijana limpa, pamoja na kulipa deni la kijana, ambara na mudai. Four years later, the family is still waiting in vain for intervention of the Kenyan government in the matter to see their son, who as for now, are not certain if he is still in jail or what became of him. Naomba serikali ya Kenya, kutia kwa raisi wetu, uhuru, pamoja na deputy wake, wanaruto, mutusaidia tuwese kuona mtoto wetu.